guys, so today I'm starting off and I'm using a um, Burt's Beeswax Makeup Wipe to remove all of the excess liner. And then I'm going in with my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. I'm going to be applying this all over her face. I want to make sure that it's very moisturized and that way it helps fill in the wrinkles a little bit. Then I'm going in with my Tarte Eye Primer and applying that to lids. And then I'm going in with a light shadow to just set that primer and make sure that the eye products aren't too sticky. Then I'm going in with a light brown shade out of my Morphe palette and applying this in the crease area. Um, I wanted to make sure today to stay away from very like shimmery shades. I'm going to be using a little bit. Then here I'm going in with a darker brown color and applying that directly into the crease on the outer edge of the eye. Then I'm going in with a light matte shade and applying this all over the lid. And then after this I'm going in with a little bit of a shimmer shade just to give it a little bit of an inch depth. But I'm just applying it to the middle of the lid and I'm doing this because it is Valentine's. So you want to do a little bit something extra to stand out. But because there are a little bit more wrinkles on the lid I don't want to apply too much sparkle as well as a deep set eye and then here I'm going in with a dark eyeshadow and applying that as liner and then here you can see I'm using my NYX concealer color corrector and I'm using the shade purple to help lighten that area up and then I'm going in with a concealer and applying that on top of that and I'm going to go in and blend these together with my artiste brush and I'm also applied some concealer on the forehead to help lighten that area up as well now you don't want to apply too much makeup because you don't want it to end up being cakey or settling in those fine lines then here my camera turned itself off but I used the makeup forever HD foundation and I went in with my artiste brush and then at the end a beauty blender to help um, get any excess product and blend that out even more then here I'm going in with my NYX cream contour kit and I'm using that there just to contour as you can see there the forehead the sides of the cheek the bottom of the neck and the temple area to help lift the face and then here I'm going in and blending that out I'm also going to be using my Anastasia contour kit to go over the top of that to set it and then here I'm blending out that under eye area and applying powder I want to make sure there's no creases in those fine lines then I'm going in with my NARS Orgasm Blush and applying that to the tops of the cheekbones. Then here I'm going in with some NARS lipstick and this is in a stick form. I would normally use a lip brush but since it's my mom I didn't um, and I did overline those lips just a little bit. And then I'm going in here and applying those brown shades that we used on the tops of the lids underneath the eye. You want to make them pop but you don't want to apply too much and make them look too small. Then here I'm going in with my Smashbox mascara and applying that to the tops and bottom lashes. And last but not least, I am doing the eyebrow eyebrows. I use some hairspray to set them, and then I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pow or Pomade. And then I also run my brush through it at the end to help blend that all evenly out. Hey guys, so today I wanted to do this look for you. Hey guys, so today I wanted to do this look for you. I did my mom's makeup. I did a Valentine's Day look. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. And please don't forget to hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video. And please subscribe. I hope you enjoy.